With version 68 now becoming available to more and more Quest users, here are 14 new changes and new features that Meta has added. Let's begin. First, we'll start off with the new UI updates. So personally, I mentioned we were always able to like move things around and do this. Of course, and you, this little slider over here allows you to move it to wherever you like to leave it. And if you like to watch a video as you're like walking around, just play a video and then just long hold hold and of course you could like walk around this way if i was in pastor mode i could have a video playing that's like a little trick right there just long hold and just do that but the new thing they added is i could swap windows so by doing this it swaps the windows so that's something they recently added that's like a little new little trick unfortunately you still don't have the ability to like move the window like forward and back but I did came up with a trick is momentum. Utilizing the gyroscope and stuff that's built in the controller or even your hands, just swing it and you'll notice it'll move closer and then swing out and it'll move opposite way. Yeah, it's not really consistent. Hopefully somebody from Meta is watching this video and allowing us to use the joystick to purposely like click on it and use the joystick to bring it in closer or further out instead of this random game. But I had better results by doing this and this. It also works with hand gestures as well, like hand control. But we're going to attach this window back in here. There we go. So those were like about three new things. The next thing can be located when you launch your library of games, of course. If I position this a little bit better, there we go. Oops, a little bit too far. We now have this new column expansion section where you can separate it from all your apps and games and meta worlds as you see right here so there's this new category you have access to now but what i'd like to show you is if we launch a game like watts of the wizard hey you're back igor cleaned up the mess you made last time Whew, that was quite a lot and before i get interrupted some more we Now, whenever you pop up your menu from the meta controller, right? Notice how we have a media control option right here, which means you could launch something on the, on your web browser, like on YouTube or other media sources for audio listening, like a podcast, like a playlist or a podcast you enjoy listening to. Click on it. Do you know how long it took me to get back up here? I'll deal with you in a little bit. And you can listen to a podcast like, like this. Events, Unfortunately, you are not able to interact with your game while you have year. a media player so, playing using like the web browser, but you can't close this. this um, and you so can still resume mm -hmm. listening to your event. media <laughs> in here. Maybe in France it is. I'm not getting copyright. I guess. Well, apparently. But yeah, you have media control right here. You can pause and play and just play. VR games while enjoying your media playlist, podcast, or have a video playing in the background. I thought that was pretty cool. But now, what is pretty cool, not the skull, is today's video sponsor, VR Wave. If you wear glasses and you haven't yet picked up yourself a set of prescription lens for your Quest 3 or your other VR headsets, these are another great accessory that I'll strongly recommend. Not needing to wear your glasses under your VR headset is so much more enjoyable. You can remove the prescription lens because they're only held together using strong magnets and will not shake off. They make them for not just the Quest 3, but also the Quest 1, 2, the Quest Pro, and you can find it on other VR headsets like the Apple Vision and etc. Ordering a set off their website is super easy and does not require an active prescription. So long as you're confident with your numbers, you're good. But you can get a hold of somebody in case you have any questions about your order. They also offer blue light filtering as well as anti-glare. They're so thin once you install them that you won't even notice them when you're gaming in VR. Be sure to use the promo you see on the screen to get yourself a set. The next additional things can be located in your system settings. Because if we go all the way to this menu, in system settings, in camera, notice how now you have audio input adjusters for your microphone as well as your game capture audio settings as well so now we actually have a slider because you can plug in like third-party microphones into the usb-c port now to capture audio in a better microphone or have it set to your native microphone of choice whenever you're playing multiplayer games another new change is when it comes to taking screenshots as the resolution is higher than previous 
it's now 2160 by 2160 where previously it was only 1440 by 1440 much higher resolution for screenshots and if you're ever connecting your device to a new wi-fi network in the wi-fi section you now have the capability to scan a qr code utilizing the camera that this vr headset has if you don't see that qr code section for your wi-fi just go back and go into experimental and by going down you'll see enable wi-fi qr code option and since we're here this is where you can see the new meta ai ability that meta recently added enable this if you like to have the new meta ai but from my understanding this setting is only available in the united states some places in the europe but it's not available anywhere else so if you see this that's where you'll see it. if you don't it's not available yet in, in your region unfortunately and then of course you can ask it general questions like what's the weather outside or settings or things you like to request it to do like turn off your headset reset your headset or turn off Wi-Fi or enable AirPlay mode as, as an example. That's the quick rundown of what the Meta AI does. Basically, modern day AI smartphone abilities is now available on the Quest headset. And if you're playing in game, you like to, for your friends to also hear your Meta headset. You can whenever you're using the Meta AI. You'll see this in the news in the system settings in the Meta AI section. You have settings right here, and in the privacy. So to demonstrate what does the silent voice thing does, if I go ahead and disable this and I activate it by tapping the metal button twice, how tall is the Empire State Building? So you probably are unable to actually hear it, but it's showing us the text right here of the question that I ask it. But if I go ahead and enable it and I do it again, it probably didn't show you guys anything. It literally just cut the, uh, the audio entirely so you don't hear what question I ask it. But that's basically the new meta silent mode in a nutshell. Your personal preference, you can enable it so it doesn't interrupt others if you're requesting it to turn off your headset or reboot it. And then another thing, I covered this in the past, but these little windows over here is now compatible on other things, other apps, not just the web browser. So over here in the store, as an example, I can maximize it and there's this new little tab right here, sorry if you can't see that, which allows you to go from flat view to like curved display or fully enable pass-through mode. But with pass-through mode enabled with this little slider, you could control it how much of your environment you like to see it. So you're more focused on the video you're trying to watch. And of course you can also do this with pass-through mode as well. So you could lightly see your environment while you're watching or playing a certain app like I have right here. And then just reverse the process to go back to your normal menu. And if you like to remove Meta from stealing their voice storage data, you could disable it right here. So there's no files of the commands or requests you've been asking for it. But still in our system settings, in the cloud backup tab, you now have the ability to add an encryption here and pretty soon we will have the ability to manage our backup storage so if you have multiple cloud storage data on other quest headsets you'll be able to delete them and manage it all right here and then if your battery percentage is ever low below 20 percent it will now play a new sound utilizing the external speakers as if you're docking the headset to charge so whenever the headset's on standby it'll randomly play that sound now so now it gives you the new notification when it's below 20 percent now as for the Meta app, it has been updated and renamed. So now it's called the Meta Horizon and there's a new Meta logo. It's just a circle thing. It's kind of interesting. There's no support for dark mode, which is why it's glitched on my screen. But when you tap on your profile here, you'll see your gamer tag, your Instagram handle as well. If you're connected to it, including your Facebook. But if you tap edit, it allows you to basically customize your avatar right here and shop around if you like to buy apparel. Weird update in my opinion, but it's here and it's there. You have your search, which will include everything from games to apps to social media platforms or Horizon World as well. If you tap here, you'll see your other menu settings. And this is where you go in and actually select your VR headset you like to connect to. But here you can also monitor or enable your cloud backup encryption like I was showing you earlier. And later on, we should again have the ability to manually delete some backup storage. And then device management is also where you can see and download your offload like meta capture screenshots or video recordings you previously did. 
But if we go back and you tap on the home button, for some reason again it's glitched, but if you tap on the top left here, this is where you'll find a familiar page that we were already used to. The quest store where you can find like top selling, your wish list, top selling games of this week, and etc. And then you can select here to go between different categories from other compatible Quest stores if you want to switch between different libraries like the Oculus Go. I'm still surprised it's being supported here. Again, unnecessary update, but just tap right here and you'll be familiar with the previous store library we had in the past. They just brought us app customization for our avatar. But when the headset's being worn, if you go back here, you still you will have the ability to connect to the headset right here and cast directly off the screen like we previously were. Nothing here has changed. Again, thank you to our sponsor VR Wave for supporting the channel and links to everything else that was featured in today's video is of course linked in the description down below, including timestamps. So if you'd like to go back, feel free to do so. But if you missed the previous video where I go through the hidden features of the Quest 3 in version 67, still is irrelevant to the 68 one, Check it out right over there where I show you the ins and outs, including some button shortcuts, like some hidden features that the controllers can do, and more. I highly recommend checking out that video over there right afterwards. Thank you so much for watching.